Cougan Cassius for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at Blue Water here for the weigh-in for the Maxim Nutrition final. Fighting on the bill, Nick Blackwell against Nicola Matic. No, that's what I was fighting this morning. I was some Welsh lad. I don't know what his name is, but oh. it's changed, yeah. It's changed, it's changed, yeah. changed already. Changed, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I don't know your opponent. Is. If you don't know his name, I'll get away <laughs> yeah, with it. Yeah, you don't know either. Um, so we'll talk to you a little bit about uh, your draw with Sergei Kamitsky recently in Monte Carlo. How was your experience out in Monte Carlo? Yeah, it was good. It was a good experience over there. Um, I thought I was doing eight rounds. Um, got in the ring, realised I was six. Obviously, it benefited him. But um, one more round, I thought I'd have got him out of there. Um, I still think I won the fight. I was a bit, I started a bit slow, but you know, uh, I need, I needed more rounds. I went in with a eight round game plan into a six round fight, so yeah, it didn't really work out. Yeah, but I think I lose, I lost quite a draw. So. Oh, obviously, Kaminsky is very uh, known to like the British public in yeah. his uh, two fights with uh, Mike Murray and also his uh, performance over Frank Bullioni yeah. not too long ago. So, uh, were you watching back them fights before you yeah, fought? Yeah, no, you know, I went to watch Frank on that fight, so I was uh, sparring with him. And after that fight, I won the fight with Kaminsky. Um, so, when it came up, I took it straight away. Um, but yeah, he was a strong old boy for three rounds, then he started tiring a little bit. Um, yeah, no, it, was, it was what it was. Absolutely. So, you're doing eight rounds tomorrow just to get them out, get them yeah. in the bank tomorrow? Yeah, doing eight. I was just doing ten, I was eight. Um, just keep swapping and changing. But yeah, I just need the rounds and you keep busy, and um, hopefully, that's what me and going to be doing. So. Absolutely. Uh, can you just clarify the situation regarding you and Chris Eubank Jr. and whether the fights were made, offered, whatever, and whether he turned them down, whether he didn't? What, what was the actual situation? Yeah, I got offered the fight of him. First time I got offered him, I think it was last year before the summer, um, for a British Eliminator. Um, and I was up for the fight, I was excited. Um, he turned the fight down. Um, we did quite a bit of sparring back then as well. Um, and then I got offered it to him for the second time, and then he got turned, it turned down again. Um, but yeah, now he's fighting Billy Joe Saunders, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, a bit of a leaping class, you know, from the lads who he's been fighting to Billy Joe. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting fight. Did you have to step away from this fight with uh, Eubank to let the Eubank Saunders fight happen, yeah. I understand? Well, I was manager for the British, I was supposed to fight Billy Joe. Uh, sort the deal out, um, he kind of sort the deal out of Frank Warren, step aside the um, I'll on maybe the only part of the fight or they're going to go on another show um, and I'll fight the winner within 90 days, so yeah, I'll right. fight the winner. So. so, I mean, it's a bit complicated because whoever wins that potentially will go on to fight for a world title, so they yeah. might vacate well, the I British title if, anyway. I think, if, I think the thing is, if Billy Joe wins, um, if they can anyway, he'll go for a world title. Um, and Eubank, you know, I think he'd probably want to win that British outright. So I think you know Eubank would take the fight, and I'd fight Eubank. But you know, in my personal opinion, I don't think Eubank's going to beat Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders is too classy. Um, he's taking his training seriously. You know, he's over in the MGM. He actually got a proper training camp, um, which he's never done before. Um, and some of the training camps he's been on, he's been quite unfit. Um, but he's taking it seriously. He's looking in good shape, and I just think he's going to be on a different level now to win. Know from his previous fight, so yeah, you have to be on his game as well, which I think he will. But have you been impressed with anything you've seen from Chris Eubank? 18 fights undefeated. Yeah, he's he only had two fights more, to be honest. Yeah, and yeah but Eubank, yeah, he's looked good in his fight. You can't say he hasn't looked good yeah. in his fight. He hasn't looked good in his fights. So, um, he's been putting lads away, but this opposition he's been fighting, he hasn't fought anyone decent yet. You know, he's fought a few English lads, Terry Grover, his time, but like he's struggled against them. Billy Joe Saunders, you know, he's fought some good lads. Um, yeah, he's fought myself, he's fought Ryder, he's fought Spike, Spike so, you know, yeah. he's fought some good lads, you know, so, and he's proven, so he's, he's won, so, you know, it just shows, you know, what opposition he's fought and what Eubanks fought, um, and Billy Joe's got experience, so I think that would be a fact in the fight. Well, whatever happens, it's an interesting fight, because yeah, like I said, we're yet, we're yet to see, you know, Chris Eubank, and many believe him to be the real deal, and exactly, yeah. he, he very well could be, he's very he could possible, go in and he could just smash Billy Joe, but I don't, I don't think he's going to... It's you know a mean? possibility. It's yeah, like, yeah. It, you know, we, you know he's, he has looked uh, impressive with what he's done, but the level of opponents... Exactly. You know, and Chris Eubank himself, I'm sure, wouldn't be satisfied with, you know, that level of opponents, and he'll want to step it up himself, yeah, but exactly. he's going to step you know, it up. I think Eubank hasn't got anything to lose. You know, if he loses fight, you know, it's too soon for him. Billy Joe loses. You know, he's got all, he's got all to lose, but Billy Joe is confident. I'm confident he's going to win. But, you know, it's an interesting fight, and... You can sway either ways, but you know, I'm personally going to go with Billy Joe. All right, listen, Nick, uh, best of luck uh, tomorrow night, first of all, and then uh, let's hope you let's see, get your shot of the British next That's year. That's it. Yeah, nice to just give me. All right, Cougan Cassius with uh, Nick Blackwell here for IFL TV. Thank you very much.